This is the first of three videos where I'm going to talk about probability. We have probability here, the simpler probability problems. We have um, independent and dependent probabilities, which are becoming a more frequent topic. And we have expected value, which is also becoming more and more common. Let's start at the beginning. Probability is the likelihood of an event occurring, and it's a percentage. But it's bound by zero on the down and 100 on the top. We can't have a 1,000% chance of rain. Um, likewise, there's almost a 0% chance that I'll learn how to fly like Superman. But it's not zero. It's very, very small, but it's not zero. So really nothing has a 0% chance of, prob uh, of occurring, 0% probability, unless the event's already happened in the past. Let's take a look at the problem. We'll talk about it a little bit more. So I'm outfitting um, a utility belt. I have four black markers. I have one green, one blue marker. A little squeaky there. A can of shark repellent. And a battering. Some old, old Batman references, I guess. What are the likelihoods? And if I select something randomly, I select a black marker. Well, probability is always calculated this way. Probability is what you want or what you're interested in over everything. And you know, if you want anything that can happen, right, if, if all the outcomes are equally desirable or undesirable, then it'd be everything over everything, so it'd be one. Um, so this numerator will always be smaller or at most the same size as the denominator. It's just a matter of making sure you plug in the right stuff. So in this case, we want a black marker. So we want the black marker. Everything, that's going to be four items plus one, plus one is six, plus one, plus one is eight. Four over eight is equal to one half. Or, you, you know, the answer choices are in terms of fractions, which you see pretty commonly. You also say it's a 50% chance. Now, this is sort of the prototypical uh, ACT probability problem. They've been using this kind of problem for years. Other ways they'll ask this are... Um, what, what is the probability that you won't not, you know, they may even throw a big knot in there, a capital knot, uh, pull a black marker out, which in this case would be, again, one half. Or what are the odds you pull not the green marker? So it would be four plus one plus one is seven over eight, right? This is important stuff. I mean, probability shows up on every test, and you kind of need to understand these fundamentals before you progress too far with it. Um, you're probably fairly comfortable with this. But I really, really encourage you to check out expected value and independent and dependent probabilities. That's really where you guys tend to get stuck, and it's stuff that you really haven't done much of in school. They just like to test it these days. It's a, sort of a newer last few years topic.